Hey, I'm Brandon with Revzilla, joined by this handsome fella, Pat, and today we are checking out some boots. You can see we got a lot of boots behind us, so. Boots? I thought we were doing gloves. Oh boy. Pat and I routinely get to ride and race and test out boots, and today we are checking out the Fox Motion Boots. Pretty excited about this, so without further ado, let's hit the trails. Everybody! Woo! Howdy y'all! <laughs> yeah, zipping around here with Pat. You saw him in the intro, see him in the studio quite a bit. And we're checking out these uh, these old Fox Motion boots. How these boots actually feel while we're using them, what we're experiencing, and you know, kind of testing them against all the other boots that we routinely ride in. Yeah, and it's like I think you're you're a pretty you're a huge fanboy of the Tech Sevens, rightfully so, one of the best boots <laughs> in the market. And I I've been rolling with the Liats for probably the past two years, the 5.5s, oh, yeah. um, and been loving them. So I was really anxious to get out here and, and start ripping around. And I mean, honestly, some things I'm impressed, some things not so impressed. And I think we're on the same boat on that one. One of the the biggest things that I think we both noticed right out of the gate, they're not super stiff, right? Yeah, yeah, they're a little bit more relaxed than at least the Liat and the Tech Sevens, you know. You look at the Tech 10s and everything like that, that, those are stiff, 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 but these are a little bit more loose, a little bit more relaxed the ankles. Typically for me, I like something that's a little bit more snug around the ankle area. You know, I broke my leg and messed that all up for a little bit there. And so I like the boot being a little bit stiffer. I don't know, I think some people will like that it's got a little bit more comfort built into it, a little bit more flexibility so you can more easily you know, manipulate your controls because that's a big complaint for a lot of riders, especially new riders that aren't used to these kind of big, clunky MX style dirt boots. Yeah, and I think we always say it's like a stiffer boot is better. And like in theory, yes it is, but if it's hindering you from focusing or like hitting any turns or shifts or anything like that, it's yeah. not safer. It's actually making it worse. Yeah, right out of the box. I mean, these things are really, I mean, you're able to just rip around on them like they're like oh, you've been yeah. wearing for months or where, with a Tech 7 and the Liat, it took a little while to break in. Yep, the Liads especially, those took a bit to, to break in. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's some stiff boots. A little bit, a little bit stiffer, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, these, for a dual hinge system, I mean, like I was expecting a little bit more pushback on each side, but for those looking for a really comfortable boot right out of the box, I mean, yeah, I'd say these are better than the Tech 7s and the Liads in that regard specifically. Oh yeah, for sure. And there's a little bit more comfort room I found in the toe, right? Like. If you have wider feet, I think you're going to be a little bit happier with something like this. Because I have a little bit more narrow feet, and I feel like the Tex Evans are nice and snug for me. And these, I've got a lot of room side to side for my foot. Yeah, oh. yeah and I have a slightly wide foot bed, so like A-Stars was always, oh, we're hanging the left here. Oh, A-Stars was always locking it up. Uh, my better option, but um, the Liats were great in that regard. These are even looser, than, or even wider, I should say, not looser than those, which I, I didn't expect, I'm not going to lie, because it was a whole new fit, and I know that was something you wanted to chat about too, um, but yeah. it was like a whole new fit that Fox was going for to try to make the line all one single consistent oh, fit. Yeah. I think the instincts, right, the next step up, they all have the half sizes from sizes 9 to 11, which is incredible, like not all manufacturers are doing that, so I'm glad that they've given us uh, those options within the sizing range. So. Yeah, yeah, and especially I think the old instincts with which uh, our buddy Matt had, uh, he had to actually size, I think, uh, up one whole size because they were just a little too small. But yeah, so it's nice that they have consistent fitment, you know, then you can tell everybody who wants to look into these, like, yeah, whatever your US shoe size is, go with that one, you're gonna be just fine. It's interesting too, because I like how stiff the instincts are. They're a little bit stiffer, they have a little bit more reinforcement. So I, I personally like them a little bit better than these. This is a little bit more flexibility than I personally want for the way I ride in the woods usually. So you're a heavy uh, inner leg gripper when it comes to uh, yeah, when it yeah. comes to bikes. Like I know you huck them left and right. You have fun off of jumps like in the, on the trail. So the Instinct has all that extra grip that you can really harness where I would probably not harness it and it would wear down a little bit more for me compared to these motions. So I, I like them though. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see like long-term break in with these just because right. they are so relaxed. Like, right. you don't have to do any breaking in, but that's a good thing for those that love mobile boots. I mean, we yep. see guys out and, and girls riding in, like, like the really loose, like, even, like, the Converse and the entry-level these because they want more movement because they're stellar riders, but they just, 
they can't do a stiff boot, so. Yeah. The sole feels good too, I will say. This is their uh, their Duratec, which is uh, a little bit more durable than the top tier Instinct, which is using that Ultra Tech, <laughs> which is super sticky. Yeah, but you sacrifice a little bit of longevity when you go to the Ultra Tech because it's designed for the most tacky, grippy sole you can get. Oh, these are all replaceable too, right? Yeah. They're pretty easy to replace. And they said they made them easier for a cobbler to replace, like a yeah. local cobbler. You're still going to run into those cobblers like, ah, oh, I've never seen one of these boots, <laughs> especially here on the East Coast. Right. Make sure there's no cars coming. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're good. I love that Fox went after the Goliath that is te the Tech 7. Oh, yeah. And we're like, you know what? That's our target. We're going to go for them. Where it's like other people can just be like, well, we just made a boot because we're not going to beat them. Like Fox was like, hey man, like Alpine size, yeah. we'll give you a run for your money and see what we can do. Big kudos to Fox for like getting after it and not just like going with the status quo. They like really worked on these boots and thought about the integrity and the market and the riders they're serving. So it's like, hey, that maybe that's what Kenny Roxton was asking for. Like that right. some of these pros want that, and I totally get it. You gotta listen to your pros and listen to the feedback and build a boot for the market after that. You know? Yeah. I would say. If you like the Tech 7s, we'll use them as a benchmark. If you like the Tech 7s, but you want something a little bit more flexible, but you still want solid torsional and lateral protection, maybe uh, you know you want a little bit more flexibility, right? The Motion could be a great option, right? A little bit wider footbed, a little bit more flexibility built into it. And I'd say you'd probably go with the Liats if you want your ankle to be like more locked in, a little bit more secure, and they're a little bit more uh, stiff in comparison to the Tech 7 as well as obviously these uh, these motion boots from Fox. So, And that's why I've been through two sets now of the uh, Liats and the problem was in order to replace the sole I had to send it back so I ended up just going with a new pair because they were so ratty. So it's like yeah. that would have been something I would have loved to have in the uh, in the Liats but yeah if you got a wide footbed I mean like these are a hundred percent one of the boots you should consider if you're looking at them over the Tech 7s, which are a little wide, but not really, and the Liats, which are pretty much a standard footbed. It's yeah. like, I would look at these if you got a wide foot, and you know that uh, they little piggies need some space. <laughs> some little piggies. Yeah. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for hanging out with Pat and I. And uh, again, if you're looking for the nitty-gritty details, head over to the product review. We just wanted to hop on the bikes. We're having a good time, and uh, just kind of tell you how they actually feel, what we're experiencing in this moment and uh, hopefully it'll help someone out if they're uh, looking at these boots or some alternative options but thanks again everybody hopefully you're getting in some ride time staying safe as always keep her pin baby Woo! why don't you give the fans at home a little wheelie set all right might as well <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and abstain from that <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.